Welcome back. If you've ever had a migraine, then you know it can put you out of commission. You can't do anything. Now, imagine having migraines on a regular basis. It can destroy your quality of life. With the procedure we're about to explain, patients have gone from hopeless to full of hope for a better life. Welcome Dr. Ioannis Garibas with Migraine Treatment Center of America and his patient, Janice Case. She used to suffer from migraines. Please welcome them to the show today. Hi there. You know, there's a headache, and then there's what people say, ah, oh, migraine. Can you define, is there a, a, a line between the two? Yes, um, migraines, uh, migraines are a disease process that presents as a throbbing, severe, pounding headache. It involves part or the whole head, usually associated with nausea, uh, sensitivity to light or noise. Um, sometimes very difficult to treat, yeah. refractory to therapeutic treatments. And Janice, I mentioned how it just really uh, disrupts your quality of life. I had a coworker who suffered from the migraines, and there are people who would say, oh, she has another headache. It, for people who actually suffer from it, it, it really is a serious situation. Yes, yes, that definitely And so is. what was your life like, or what was it not like because of these migraines? Well, my earliest childhood memories were of migraines, walking home from school and crying because I hurt. And uh, I just lived with that until like the 80s or sometime they brought out medicines that were sort of effective. And so they helped keep the intensity of the, my migraines away. Yeah. And the tough but part still, about medicines is that they could help, but it can also bring on another set of issues. Right. And all the side effects. And uh, I finally found a medicine that did sort of work, but my neurologist told me I couldn't use it anymore because it was going to cause permanent liver damage. Mm. So he said, how aggressive do you want to be in treating them? And I said, I don't know what my options are. So he immediately picked up the phone and called Dr. Scribus. Yeah, I say, Dr. Scribus, we're going to talk about this device right here and what it does, but um, how does it work in the brain? And who qualifies for something like this? This is a device that works through uh, peripheral nerve stimulation in the head. So the procedure involves um, bilateral, supraorbital, and occipital uh, stimulation combined. Um, candidates for the procedure are patients that uh, don't respond to any other treatments. So this is uh, reserved for uh, patients that have severe symptoms, usually headaches on a daily basis, that uh, medications don't work, um, or other uh, interventional procedures don't work. Yeah, so the attention headaches, cluster headaches, persistent headaches, uh, intractable migraines. Correct. All these are primary headaches, uh, like migraine headaches is one of the primary headaches. So it's predominantly for primary headaches, like the ones you mentioned, uh, very severe, uh, that usually other therapeutic options don't work. Yeah, all right. So when you heard this, because uh, it sounded like a, a medical you know, explanation, when you heard about this, did you have any idea exactly what it did in your brain and if it was going to work? I had work? no clue. I don't even know until I woke up from the surgery what he'd even done. done. Yeah, <laughs> like whatever you can do. I was yes. so eager to have it, I didn't really listen to what it was, and it was a whole lot more uh, severe than what I, what I thought the surgery was going to be, but it was just 100% success. Right. So what do you have to do on your end to make it a success? How does it work for you? Uh, I have a, a battery that I have to keep charged all the time. Mm -hmm. And then once a week, I have to charge the battery that's located in my hip for about 30 minutes. And I just keep it turned on to a low degree um, all the time. Yeah. And I have not had a, even a hint of a headache since. That's amazing. Since March the 9th. That's 9th. amazing. Like your doctor asked you, how serious are you about finding something to get rid of these headaches? Uh, and you have the surgery, but the surgery compared to what your life is like now a great payoff for you. Oh, it was so well worth it. So, yeah, a yeah. real blessing. And Dr. Scribus, <laughs> I would imagine you have a lot of patients like her who have gone through a lifetime and, and missing out on things. You can't plan a vacation. Yeah. You can't, there's just so many things that you can't do that a lot of us take for granted right. who come back to you and think, are you kidding me? So this worked? It does work. And yes, the, the headaches in general affect 12% of the U.S. population, so it's a, it's a huge health and socio socioeconomic uh, problem. So this works, uh, it works very well. It's not for everyone, uh, it's for patients that other treatments don't work, but it's very successful. Yeah, so you do a trial for three or four days. You do a trial, the trial is a test, you temporarily uh, implant these electrodes. Uh, this is superficial, it's not going to the brain, it's uh, um, 
a superficial procedure under the skin above the nerves that cause all these headaches. And if it, the trial is successful, then uh, you consider the patient as a candidate for the permanent implantation. All right, and that, that means she'll have this for the rest of her life? Correct. Do we know what causes migraines? The answer to your question is no. I don't think anyone has the answer to that uh, yet. Uh, in the old days, we thought that migraines uh, were a result of uh, vascular abnormalities. Migraines, as I told you earlier, is a disease process, which at this point we think uh, has to do more with the brain more than anything else right. and um, uh, anything from genetic conditions. So there is no answer as of yet as to what causes migraines. But, but luckily, a, this is an answer so for a lot of people to get rid of those migraines. Yes. Let me ask you, Janice, what's the, the, the thing that you love to do now that you couldn't look forward to always doing before? Well, I think the, the most important thing is just I can now make plans in advance. You could be here today. Yeah, because, you know, six months ago I couldn't have promised you I would show up. Hmm. Well, congratulations, Dr. Caribas. Thank you very much for telling us about this. To schedule your appointment and to learn more about Migraine Treatment Center of America, you can log on to HoustonMigraine.com, HoustonMigraine.com. You can also call them at 713-893-5292, 713-893-5292 for a free phone consultation with a patient coordinator to see if you are a candidate for the Omega procedure and get your life back. Well, there's a storm brewing, but we're not talking about Tropical Storm Debbie. We're talking about the silver tsunami, the phenomenon where seniors are living longer, staying more active, and just having a plain old good time. When we come back, you'll meet some of those seniors and learn about a community that keeps them young at heart.